Hey guys, today I want to talk about the big ATM mess, and it is a mess. One of the things I find around here, and I was over in Tagaytay today, and I was looking for an ATM. And I should have known better, because my town's pretty good on their ATMs. Though sometimes they can get a little rough finding a, a good ATM to use that's, that's, that's always working. You, sometimes you get there and you find the sign on there out of order or whatever. You know, or it's just, there's no more money left in it or whatever. It's a big, it's, there's a big run on money. And I find there's a lot of runs on money here in the Philippines. It's getting to be quite common here that you go to an ATM machine, poof, no money. You can't get your money out. You can't take any money out, period. And that's a problem. It's a big problem. Because today, when I was over in Tagaytay, every bank that I went to, and there was about, probably about seven or eight banks that we looked at, either they had a sign on the machine that they weren't working, or they had a line that was an hour and a half to two hours to use the the ATM, you know, and or, or sometimes the, the 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 ATM wasn't working there, so people were going into the bank and trying to get them pull their money out of the bank because of the ATM being down, and that's that's getting to be like a regular scene over here in some cases, in some places, not in every place because I like I said I noticed that my town is pretty good for having, like at the mall at least I can find one place that works. I have gone there sometimes like around Christmas time or the holidays when it's busy or whatever. You walk up to all the machines and they all say out of order. And it's because they've, they've had a run on that machine. It's empty. It's waiting to be loaded up or the machine is down or something like that. It's a common thing to see here. And, and when I was over to Guy Tai today, I was like, you know, there's no way in the world I'm going to wait an hour to an hour and a half to two hours to get my money at an ATM machine. There's just no way. You know, one day I, I, I waited at this machine. I waited at probably a good 45 minutes to get up there. I had a person in front of me. Everybody else took the usual minute or two minutes to get their stuff out. I had this lady there in front of me who kept whipping out card after card after card after card until she reached about 15 cards. And I knew what she was doing was she was loaning money to people and she was taking the money out of their cards that people have to give up their ATM cards because their paycheck gets deposited because they work at a factory or whatever. So the money goes directly into their ATM and that lady would draws it out to get her money that's due to her from them borrowing, borrowing from her. Now, and I'm looking at her and I felt like saying something, but you know, it was well within her right to do that because she's a customer. She's using the machine properly. But, you know, there is that is a little bit rude to the people behind you because if you empty out that machine people are going to be a little bit mad at you but it is something that you see and it is quite common here you know and it's not just at that that particular bank that i've seen this i see it a lot there's a lot of people that do this stuff there's I, when i was over at sm one time i was at in the clothing section at in, in um tracy Materis here and same thing got got a lady in front of me might have even been the same lady i didn't notice the face or anything like that because i really don't they're always facing the other way but 10 cards out boom 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 t taking money out checking them writing little notes in their little notebooks and stuff like that saving all the receipts putting them inside the the, the notebook you know all in order and everything and i'm like you know this lady should be doing all her you know her bookkeeping somewhere else because you know I'm, this is getting a little bit tiring waiting for her to do this and people were getting a little bit you know antsy about waiting and stuff like that but Nobody wants to wait and see all that, you know. It's part of waiting in line, though, here in, in the Philippines. Get used to it. Patience is a virtue here in the Philippines, let me tell you. Waiting in line is quite common here. And if you don't have patience here, don't come here. You know, it's just not the place for you. But most of the time what I do, I'll go sit someplace or I'll go seek out another one where I don't have to wait as long. It's much easier. It might take just as long. Rather than waiting in line for an hour or an hour and a half, it might take you that long to find an ATM machine sometimes that works in some cases. Now, I'm lucky in my town. My town usually doesn't have too many problems, like I said. Sometimes there is a little bit of a line wait, but never do they have that many closed down like they did over in Tagaytay today. Because every one we went to just about was closed down, and then, then we started getting to the ones with the big lines. So it was, it was beginning to be a problem. Also, sometimes they have outages you know, like they're not online or something like that. That's a problem also. And you go to any one of the machines and they're all offline. So you have, you have to wait till they come back online. And yet you're, you're without money. So always have some money 
like in an emergency spot in your wallet. You know, some people's wallets, they have like this little section in the, in, in the you can see in mine. You lift this thing up and there's like another pocket back there. And it's good to have maybe, you know, 5,000 pesos back there or something like that. Hide it back there. That way there when, when these machines are down, guess what? You're one step ahead of the game. When you walk by one of these ATMs that's empty, jump on it. Grab your money then. You know, ha always have some extra money in the house or hidden away somewhere. I say this a lot, and then some pe all these people, they get caught with their pants down, saying, oh, man, now I got no money. I can't buy any food. I can't do this. I can't do that. Don't let it get there. You know, that's the key, guys. God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show, guys. God bless.